whenever you go all in on one thing and that becomes your full focus, I think you derive most of life's most important lessons from that. I was tunnel vision focused on doing this one thing. And to do that, you have to build discipline. You have to build grit. Having that thing to fully focus on, I think I learned all the helpful life lessons that will be transmittable to anything I do for the rest of my life. My name is Jake Spotswood. I'm 25 years old and I'm currently training for the pole vault for the 2024 Olympic trials. My end goal is really to qualify for the Olympic trials. It's to go compete with those guys and then whatever happens, happens. Currently, I work in strategy consulting as an analyst with our federal clients. It could be doing some kind of research, it could be writing requirements for different software releases, communicating with developers, even getting to help on some of the business development for our account. My sources of income for 2024 will be, number one, my salary from strategy consulting. I have sponsorships for the season that pay to fund the season. And then I also have my personal training service online. My biggest monthly expenses are definitely my rent and then probably auto and transport. I currently live in Fairfax, Virginia, and we have a townhouse with four total guys, so myself, three others, and I pay $700 flat. That includes all utilities, Wi-Fi, trash, everything. I typically keep my food bill pretty low for the month through a few different things. So I buy pretty cheap groceries that keep me for lunch, canned tuna, fruit, Greek yogurt, things like that. And then we also have food in the office a lot of times. So they provide 30 meals a month in exchange for social media content. So I'm typically going there at the end of the day, having a bowl, moving on. I typically save around $2,500 a month uh, from my paycheck to my savings account. And then reoccurring from my savings account is $3,000 that gets split into these different investment accounts that I have. My family was very frugal for the most part. My mom used to tell us, you know, you have to save your money, you can't just get what you want. So we would wash cars, dog sit, do all this kind of stuff around the neighborhood. And she would have our bank account, which was her jewelry box. So we would take all of our cash and give it to her and we would save it up and maybe buy something for ourselves down the road or just continue to save while we were kids. at the local high school playing football with some friends and I saw some kids over on the pole vault runway pole vaulting with the track coach and it looked like so much fun to me right when I saw it and it turned out that the high school I was going to had a strong pole vault program. When I was finally finished with college athletics, uh, I was a two-time All-American, six-time school record holder, three-time conference champion as a team. At the end, when I finally was ready to you know, hang up the spikes on college athletics, I felt like I had done most everything that I wanted to do. After you know, my collegiate career ended, I kind of had a sit down with myself and started asking, what do I want to do? How do I want to end this athletic career? The pole vault has always been a special event to me. I love doing it. I love training for it. It was always my best event. So why don't we just give ourselves one more season to train for the pole vault and see how high we can jump. This season already, I've set a personal best in the pole vault, continuing to improve. The end goal being, I've always wanted to jump over 18 feet, and I'm right there. 
I'm getting pretty close and I want to qualify for Olympic trials and compete and you know once I can do that I can hang up the spikes and call it good. I typically spend probably two hours of my week creating content for sponsors. The contracts that I negotiate are one video and three stories a month. It's really just been having client calls in the evenings, seeing if it's a good fit, seeing if we want to work together. And then on the weekends, I'll build out their training program, what they're going to be doing workout wise every day of the week, a meal plan if they want it. And then I have them set up my fitness pal that connects to the app and then I can track their nutrition and they can also message me whenever they have questions. Hoping to work up to 10 clients, kind of hold there for a few months, see how that goes. And then if I can get up to 20, then I think that would be ideal. I typically wake up around 7.45, 7.50, get ready, grab my coffee, get on the road, get to work, work till a little after five. From there, I commute straight to the track and typically start around 5.50, six o'clock and that's either sprinting, pole vaulting, lifting, some kind of gymnastics or different things like that. And then I hop in the car, I'll grab my dinner, I'll eat it in the car really quick, I'll come straight back home, and whatever time I have for the rest of the night, that's when I do my social media work. I'll typically work until around 11 p.m. or so, and then I'll go into my nightly routine, I'll prep for the next day, so everything goes smooth. We get to use the facilities, we get to use the coaching, and in return, when we're doing our sessions, we will film for the other kids, we'll help coach, we'll give some tips. It's busy, but it's fulfilling, it's fun. I wanted to give myself one more season, so I kind of saw 2024 as this is the last ride, let's see how high we can go, let's see what we can get done. You know, I'll kind of reassess at the end of the season and see how much I've progressed, see how much potential we think I have, and then kind of go from there. But at this point, I think this might be my last dance. I think my biggest advice would be find what you like and just focus on that. Don't think about what everybody else is doing, don't get distracted, just Go all in on what you like and what you're passionate about. And at the end of the day, that's what's gonna make you the most happy and you're not gonna be living somebody else's life.